must launch a counterattack before the Morsworn can strike again. What might you, you would all be unable to return from the Maw if you entered there. But perhaps there is another way. One day, she will awaken. Fate scribe Rotal has sensed the emergence of a second waystone within the Maw, though he does not know its location. Your anima awakened the first waystone. It has allowed you to lead some of your allies to safety. I will create an anchor to your anima here in Oribos. Activating the second waystone should connect it to my anchor. I believe this bond will enable our covenant forces to leave the Maw, just as you can do. I speak for the one who is silent. I will create the anchor. Go now and find the waystone. Purpose guide us all. We will defend Oribos from the Jailer's forces. Hurry, Moorwalker. The enemy's strength is growing. Mo Walker, I was wondering when you would show up. <laughs> Just not what you see in the mall. I would. The jailer has used enormous chains to pull a broken realm into the mall. I could only a glimpse. But I have a suspicion of what it might be. I suggest we travel there together. While you search for your waystone, I will determine what potential profits lie in store. I possess a device that will take us to a safe enclave near this landmass. Once we arrive, it is imperative that you stay close. Procure something of value. I have limitless time. You do not. Will that be all, Mo Walker? Reports I intercepted from the Mosworn indicate that the jailer has been seeking a realm called Cortia. My fellow brokers whispered legends of this place, a magnificent city filled with treasures, its location a closely guarded secret. Be on alert. No doubt the jailer's eye will be upon this place. I have the means to keep us hidden, as I have before. Stay close and obey my every word lest the Jailer's eye reduce you to Stygia. We will be uncomfortably close to the Jailer's forces. Stay, stay close, Moorwalker. Not a word. must reach our destination before my cloak dissipates. Oh, and watch your step. Stop!
Almost there. It seems Crozier is shielded against the eye of the jailer. But his more swans are breaching its defenses. We made it. Imagine the wonders to be found here, Mo Walker. Oh, oh and that great stone of yours as well. Right. Discover more secrets. Then we can talk. Do not draw the jailer's eye. Hmm. Now that is interesting. I detect attendants nearby, like those in Oribos. Perhaps they are the caretakers of Cortia's treasures. You go on ahead. I will linger here, to ensure no enemies have trailed us, of course. Increase our patrols. We cannot let the Marsworn reach another of the Jailer's agents. Strike them down. Hold. This is a living mortal, the Moorwalker, not some servant of the Jailer. A Moorwalker? Fascinating. I have studied the prophecies, but... Oh, forgive me. I am Targalan, Keeper of Secrets. What news do you bring? Come, we have much to discuss. So this is Kothia. Hmm. I expected something a bit more... grand. You should have seen it in its prime, Broker. Kothia is... Oh, was the City of Secrets. My order was charged with safeguarding knowledge and artifacts, things deemed too precious to risk falling into malicious hands. Corthia was hidden deep within the in-between, safely out of reach. Until the Jailer's chains found us. The Banished One seeks our most precious treasure and is willing to destroy our entire existence to claim it. There is much to be done. of my knowledge is purely academic. I must explore your anima to learn more. Hold still. Ah, yes. You have a connection to a unique world soul, as it was foretold. But has that prepared you for what is to come? We must find out. Stop this ridiculous investigation before you kill the only one who can help you. <laughs> the scroll specified that the true Moorwalker must be empowered. It is my duty to proceed. Release the Moorwalker at once, or suffer the consequences. It is true, you are the Moor Walker, and now your anima is stronger than ever. We of Corthia are at your service. I remember you. I think it best to remain concealed while you activate this waystone. Remember, Moor Walker, our business is not yet concluded. The Maul Walker returns. The second waystone has been found. Fine work, Maul Walker.
Farewell, Bolvar Four Dragon. May the purpose guide you. Goodbye, Talinara. The Ebon Blade will defend Oribos until we return. the jailer's forces you have my thanks the moss will seek to plunder our secrets there is much to be done So refreshingly fresh. Did you really think you'd escaped my notice? So naive, so blind to Odin's failings. Odin will not stand for this, and neither shall I. Your defiance is meaningless. I already have what I need. The ritual nears completion, and Hilda will soon rejoin her sisters. Now bear this message back to your master, little bird. May it taste like ashes in his throat. Skyjump, see them out! Tight, friend. I was uncertain that I'd ever set eyes upon the glory of Odin's hall again, Mawalker. My poor sisters. Are you worthy of Odin's gaze? Glory to you on the battlefield. Odin, I bring before you this My mortal, the Mawalker, whose valor freed me from dire captivity. Welcome to my halls, noble one. Danica, tell me of this victory and the foe that would dare imprison one of my Valkyr. My sisters and I were ambushed by Mosworn, who served Helia. Only I survived. We come bearing a message from that accursed witch. I will twist every Valkyr you send, Odin, just as you twisted me so long ago. Your own eye betrays them all. Such sweet irony. She dares? By my beard, Helga will answer for this. Tell me of your battle. After her defeat, I thought we'd seen the last of Helia's treachery. But her venomous words and deeds never cease to vex me. My own noble all-seeing eye has been twisted into a weapon of darkness. This insult cannot stand.
glory to Odin. seeks to claim their glory. Prepare for battle! Well fought! <laughs> you are chosen to serve Odin's wrath. Go now to his side. What victories do you bring me? Remember. All attend me. Behold the Ilska horn. Crafted in the fires of my forge and imbued with the bone dust of heroes. When Ilska horn's voice calls my chosen Valkyr, my eye will be compelled to focus upon them. Danica, you shall lead, become the wrath of Odin, and embody my fury, wield my rage against my enemies. Mortal, you will bear Ilska Horn to the maw, give it a voice to pierce the veil, and unleash my vengeance. Bring us tales of victory. Do you feel the more staring at your mind? What an admirably specific question, the answer to which I can only hypothesize. Trust not what you see in the more. Procure something of value. Glory to Odin. May Odin's gates give you strength. Fortune or fate brought you to me, Morwalker. I do not know which. No matter. Together, we have battled a mighty foe. My sisters are avenged. Helia may still scheme and plot, but at least she has been deprived of the eye.
Odin will be pleased. I expect your allies will rejoice as well. The eye's absence will embolden their advance against the Jailer. You have my thanks for all you have done. Your deeds will be sung in Odin's great mead hall. All will know of your steadfast courage. What news? Fight for us. The eye of the jailer is driven out. Good. And you've gathered valuable information on Desmatera. But this news of Helia and Viraz is troubling. I remember you. Viraz is a spineless traitor. Go with I will slay and avenge Margrave Craxus. I look forward to seeing Maldraxi forces in action, Baroness. There is something strangely familiar about you. And you as well. When he peered beyond the veil, Odin spoke of winged beings who bore mortal souls to their eternal rest. Interesting. I would speak with you more on this matter, had we the time. Perhaps, once the duties before us have been fulfilled, we can share tales of glory together. Indeed, my friend. <laughs> 